Welcome back, America, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Today is uh, Tuesday, June the 15th, 2020. It's a course stop your daily COVID-19 analysis. Before we get started, I do have one favor to ask, and that's that you uh, click on that share button, share this video on your Twitter and your Facebook accounts today, because I know you know someone who's, looking for, who's really looking for some good news in the middle of this pandemic. And I have the good news for you today, all right? Let's get on with the show. So all I need you to do, click on the share button, share this report on Facebook and Twitter so your friends and family will be up to date on all the latest reported, on all the latest data. Okay, so you can see here, currently the U.S. has about 33.5 million cases, 599,494 deaths. Uh, this upper trend in mortality rate simply means that the that the, that the gap between cases and deaths is narrowing. Okay. But if you look over here, at this, on this long declining numbers of uh, long decline of daily cases, you can see uh, as of uh, 614, you had, uh, what was it? 12,710 cases. As of, as of 6 5, June 5th, you had a you had a seven day average of uh, 14,593 cases. Okay. Now let's take a look. So that's good news. So here and here's the rest of the good news. Okay. As of June 14th, on June 14th, the U.S. recorded 170 COVID-19 deaths. On June 7th, the seven day the average number of deaths for the previous seven days was 397. Okay. Okay. And on the weekly numbers, you can see this continuing downward trend in cases, as well as a continuing downward trend in deaths in the, if, in the U.S. And that's the good news today, my friends. That's the good news, neighbors. Cases and deaths, COVID-19 cases and deaths, are continuing to decline. So that means that the efforts that you and me, the sacrifices you and me have made, whether it's wearing a mask, getting the vaccine, social distancing, is having a positive effect. Okay? We have not seen this big a decline in cases and deaths, well, since, since since the spring of last year. Okay? So anyway, here we go. This this is monthly cases. Okay. This is you know, May's gonna shape up to be or June's gonna shape up to be the uh the lowest number of cases so far for any single month. And look at this. This is this is July, June, May, April. Look at look at how low deaths are going to be for for July, for June, lower than any previous month. It's certainly, you know, okay. Now, what's this? This is the number of people. This is the number of people per hundred thousand that have that have COVID nineteen who've been tested positive for COVID nineteen. Well. If this is 25, this is 12 and a half, that means on average, for every 100,000 people, 10 of them will have, will either have COVID-19 or had COVID-19. Okay, what's this down here? Well, this is cases. This is deaths. So once again, we, we look down here. This is a half a person. This is a fourth a person. And so that makes this... Uh, Let's, let's just make it easy. Let's just say for every 100,000 people in the U.S., one-fourth of a person is dying from COVID-19 per day. Okay? So there you go. So there's, there's nothing but good news. The declining cases, declining deaths, uh, are all declining on a daily, weekly, and a monthly basis. So this does conclude the report, America, for today. If you have found a support to helpful, 
click on that share button. Share this video on your Facebook and your Twitter accounts today. Thanks so much, America. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.